Well, let's just talk about the feeling. I mean, obviously everybody wants to, to be in the UFC and pick up a win. Now that you got that done, what, what does it feel like? Uh, it feels good. I mean, getting into the UFC, you know, when I signed, everyone said congratulations. I said, you know, say congratulations on Thursday. You know, getting into the UFC was kind of always expected for me. Um, I just set really high goals for myself. So as happy as I am with, uh, you know, becoming in the UFC, it's not the end goal. The end goal is to be the best in the world. So this is just one more step towards that. Talk about being here. So, I mean, you've only been a professional fighter for two years, but I know that you've got, you know, a lifetime of martial arts. I mean, did it feel like this was sooner than you expected, or do you feel like you're on the right timeline? Um, I've been trained since I was four years old, so I don't think it's too soon. Um, I've done everything, you know, what my coaches tell me to. I, I had seven amateur fights, and before, before that, I did Golden Gloves when I was 16. So I started competing in, you know, in striking and stuff when I was 15 years old. So it's not too soon. I don't, I don't think so. Very nice. Talk about your feeling tonight. I mean, we always hear about the nerves, but you did look pretty, pretty composed throughout. I mean, was it what you expected? Yeah, I mean, I felt exactly, I kept saying, you know, to my coaches and my mom and like, all the last couple of days, I'm like, it hasn't hit me yet, it hasn't hit me yet, it just feels like anything else. I mean, I definitely get those, those little bit of nerves, more anxious than nervous, but, you know, and every day for me at training is, you know, the same as a fight. There's nothing that any girl will show me that I don't see from my, from my training camp. The fight itself, the way it played out, I mean, what, how did you feel? I mean, she was coming forward a lot, but, but it seemed like you were having more success as far as the volume and the accuracy. How, how did you feel it was playing out? Um, I feel really good. I just kind of did whatever my coaches tell me to. Um, I was a little upset that I got taken down. You know, I'm used to being in the guard and being able to work my high guard and my jiu-jitsu. Um, but, you know, now at this point in the game, everyone everyone knows how to defend jiu-jitsu, so it gets a little bit harder. But a little bummed that I got taken down because I've been really working on my wrestling. But I think if I haven't worked on my wrestling, then, you know, I think the fight would have went the other way. When you came to the center of the cage to get the decision read, uh, you mentioned, you know, we've seen some crazy decisions out there. So, uh, you know, how confident were you that you got the win? Was there any, any nerves? No, I was I was pretty confident. But like I said, there's that little, there's a little part of you that you never know. You know, I've seen some teammates and stuff have you know, close decisions like that, and you never want to leave it to them, but unfortunately sometimes you do, but I was still confident that I got the win there. What's the plan moving forward? I mean, are you wanting to get back to action quickly? Is it a name that makes sense? Are you looking at a, a certain card or a place, a Madison Square Garden? I don't know. What's, what's the thought? Yeah, I, you know, I'm new to the UFC, so I don't know how much leverage I have, but I am the only East Coast girl, you know, in, in the UFC, so I would definitely love to to fight on New York or, you know, if they, my teammate Eddie Alvarez just won the title. So if they bring it to Philly, I grew up around there. So, you know, I'd like to fight there, but you know, right now I just want to keep fighting, you know, I, I don't have no injuries. So I can be back in the, back in the gym next week and just keep moving forward.